When I football boys, Premier boys, it's your feelings? We've lost the game. We've lost the game of football, so it's obviously not a nice feeling. Um, yeah, I'm proud of the lads. Yeah, they'll get all the plaudits and the pats on the back that they deserve. But at the end of the day, look, you, you want to win football matches. Um, we had a chance, we had an opportunity tonight. We probably had the best chance of the game. Harry Charles is stealing into the six yard box. It's not going on target, but when you play the big boys, you need, uh, you need those moments, you need those little slices of luck. Um, had we had VAR, obviously we would have had the, the, the penalty. Again, that's that's contentious. It's another decision that didn't go with us tonight. So we needed we needed we needed uh, a little slice of luck, and I don't think we got any luck tonight. To be quite honest with you, um, we were very good. We were very good, but very good in defeat. It doesn't doesn't bring us doesn't bring us a, a, a trip to the next round, or doesn't bring us the three points on a Saturday. We want to be winners. We want to be successful. Um, but yeah. I, I can't question their, uh, their work rate, their attitude, their commitment. And I, I stand in front of these every Saturday and I say the same things because they're a tremendous bunch. They're a tremendous bunch of lads to work with. I had a great bunch last year, but uh, this bunch this, this season, the top star, tops last year's lads. But uh, yeah, we want to win. Let's let's have a right. We want to win. The penalty shout. Um, what was the incident there? Sorry. The handball, obviously the long trial bounces up and the boy is, okay. he's, it's, it's gone out, there. he's handled it, his hand has obviously gone out. So, But you need those moments, you need those look, you need the referee to, to do his job. Um, that obviously didn't happen tonight, so we, we just had to lick our wounds and bite our lip. Um, again, if you, if, you, if you speak honestly, you get into trouble. But VAR tonight, um, I'm not sure whether it enters the competition later on or whether it has any part to play in the competition. But if VAR was in, in, in play tonight, um, we don't have it here at this ground, so <laughs> that's the irony. But yeah, if, uh, if I had been at a, a Premier League ground, uh, we would have been given a, a penalty, a Stonewall penalty. You mentioned the, the work rate and everything like that, but the lads clearly listen to all this, because like, discipline-wise in terms of shape and everything, they, they stopped shots on goal, everything. It was, they clearly listen and carry out game plans. Oh, they don't listen to me. <laughs> they don't listen to me. Yeah, listen. As I say, uh, they're a brilliant group of lads, and what they've done at the, for the football club last year to keep this club in the division was was miraculous. To be quite honest with you, I came to a football club, and the club, the whole club, was probably on its hands and knees, feeling sorry for itself, lack belief, lack confidence, um, and it's been a hell of a turnaround. It's been hard. It's been tough. But you can't do that without good good players, and, and and we have really good players. But more importantly, we have good people, good characters. And look, at the end of the day, I don't want to get away from the fact we didn't win the game. But yes, they deserve they deserve a lot of credit in there. But I, I I want to I want them to be winners. I want them to be successful, and I want them to achieve uh, in their careers. And and, and hopefully, hopefully this will uh, this will this will um, give us a little springboard uh, foundation, the little. Bit of disappointment we're tasting tonight. Hopefully, we can turn that in our favour in the uh, into the league campaign. So you say you, you tell Tom to enjoy the occasion, but do himself, no, do himself proud. They did. Well, I don't know you want the, the win. They've done that, and that gives means of Wimbledon now on Saturday. It's not like you're going into it going oh, blindly or anything like that. There's no look. Plenty there to enjoying yourself is one mm. thing, um, but winning is another. You, you enjoy yourself even more when you win. Um, so. Look, at the end of the day, let's let's give the lads a lot of credit. But <laughs> I like winning. I like winning, and they like winning as well. And, and we're all a little bit disappointed. But again, I, I have to be honest. The, the crowd were absolutely unbelievable. The crowd were unbelievable. We went down one 0 and they, the, the noise they made just to get us back in the game. And it's just a pity we couldn't give them a little bit more drama in the penalty shootout. To be honest, I thought their goalie was outstanding. He, he pulled off. You know, you can you can say he misses, but he pulled off two great saves from Woody and and. and uh, from Bryn, uh, obviously Adam was unlucky, but like I said to Adam with the penalty, uh, keep them for Saturdays, keep, keep them penalties for Saturdays. So, uh, but I couldn't be prouder, like I said, I couldn't be prouder of them, their work rate, their attitudes, the way they play, the way they represented the club, the way they represented the fans. And I think there's a special bond between the fans and the players, and I think they both appreciate each other. Um, and, and, and they love, uh, the lads love going out with the, fa going out with the fans on, on a Saturday and on a Tuesday night. And I think the fans are now starting to enjoy watching them. So there's a real bond between them, to, to, to be fair, and uh, that's precious, that's precious. Great moment for the young kid, aren't it? First pro goal. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully what will that do for him, Getting, you know, taking that chance? 
well, it's a brilliant cross from Adam again. Yet again, um, funny enough, actually, our, our goal tonight was very, very similar to the goal we scored on Saturday, the OG, uh, the build-up and the play. And their goal was identical to the one that uh, Sutton scored against us on Saturday. So it's it's, it's ironic how football looks. But yeah, Caban was uh, Caban. He's a good kid. He's a lot to learn. Um, he's got a little little uh, few bits and pieces that we need to chip away at, and we need to help him with. But he's a, he's a good kid and he's had to be patient because obviously Seb has come in, Will has come in, they were flying, Omar's coming back now. So yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely one that we can walk with, he's definitely one that uh, we enjoy walking with and uh, hopefully we can push him on and, and, and try and get some more out of him and, and, and more importantly more goals. It's a great springboard for him, it's a great, uh, great evening for him and his family and they fully deserve that because uh, it's not easy coming through academy football, getting recognised by the first team, going into the first team environment and coming on to uh, in a game like that, I can only guess um, he would have been really, really nervous but it was a great cross and a great finish and like I keep saying to my strikers, Get between the sticks, get between the sticks, that's where your bread and butter is, that's where you pick up goals, and Caban done that to be fair. Sadly he was only on, well not only on, but he came on but swifter than expected. Seb, was it just chased too hard too let's, soon? Let's not push my buttons, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not happy whatsoever when a player comes off the bench and, and, and two seconds, two minutes later he, he, he comes off injured, so uh, I, need to, I need to look into that, somebody's obviously not doing the job correctly. Um, and, and that needs to be looked at and that needs to be investigated because uh, there's no way a player should come off the bench and, uh, and then be taken off injured two minutes later. Was it, was it calf, leg, do you know what? I don't know yet, I've not, I've, not, I've not gone into the change room, I've not, I've, well he's not come into the change room as of yet, I don't know. Again, if it's muscular it'll have to be scanned, it'll have to be looked at, um, I just hope it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, something, something, needs to, uh, something needs to be addressed if, if a player has gone on the pitch and is coming off uh, two minutes later injured. I, I, I ain't happy with that. Will Evans, was that uh, precautionary? Is he a doubt? No, Will, a Will had a problem. Will had, a, Will had an issue with his groin on the Monday morning when he turned up for, uh, for training. He had a little issue, told him to leave it, told him not to train. Um, we'll, we'll, have a, we'll assess him on Tuesday. It hadn't cleared up on the Tuesday, so I wasn't going to risk him. Um, what he's like in the morning, what he's like Thursday, what he's like Friday, uh, we're in the lap of the gods. So uh, it's not major, it's it's not major and it's not long term, um, but I just hope it clears up uh, so he can he can get on the grass Wednesday, Thursday or Friday morning. Just Graham, how big was it to have Omar available to start again tonight? Yeah, we had Omar, um, we, we give Omar the start tonight. Uh, I thought he'd done tremendously well um, up, up top uh, against the, the, the three centre halves. I thought he'd done well, he's a big player for us. Uh, we also had Declan, Declan Drysdale, which is another plus point who came back tonight and uh, he was on the bench. I had every intention of getting Declan on the pitch as well, but obviously the way the game was going, um, it, it, it was it was probably we probably went with uh, with caution with Declan more than anything. So yeah, Almar is, is a big big player for us. Great to have him back. He came back on Saturday, obviously, and changed the game for us. I thought he was very very good again tonight, and not only as a player but as a person, as a character. If you have people like that in your changing room, you've got a chance, as well as having uh, Declan coming back. So, look, it's it's probably two plus points on the injury front and one negative, um, so far as uh, Seb is, is concerned. But again, like I said, we'll have to assess, have a look and assess in the morning. Just on, you mentioned the, the bond that's been developed with the club and the fans again over the well, since the start of the season, really. Is that something that you really had to work on with the players because you know, they're grafting to what you're asking for and it's showing off the pitch as well with the numbers here tonight and everything else as well? Yeah, look, the club is the club has grown. The club is club. I I, I think as far as the football side of the club is is, is in a good real place. Um, but like I say, it's uh, the bond with the fans. As we've had to work on it, uh, we've had to give the fans back uh, that work rate, that attitude, that closing down, that pressing, that pride, um, which was a lot of that was missing. Um, like we've come in, we've tried to get that bond with the fans, and we have. But I think the fans appreciate the hard work and the honesty, and I think the players appreciate the travel, the hours and the expense that the fans put in. And I think there is a genuine chemistry, a genuine bond between both player and fan. And just lastly for me, Graham, the final few days of the window, you hopefully doing much more in the next couple of days? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to bring in a couple of players. I think I've gone on record, I think over the last few weeks, um, of saying, yeah, I'd like to bring in a couple of players. We've seen what's, what's uh, happened tonight. So. 
Um, I'll have to assess that and get a quick assessment of it in the morning and see where we are. But yeah, I definitely, uh, like I said a couple of weeks ago, I've said it throughout, I'd like to bring in a couple of players, yeah, a couple more. Our squad, we could only have eight on the bench tonight. Our squad is way for ten. We will pick up injuries and uh, trying to get through um, trying to get through the next couple of weeks. October is horrendous, what, what the EFL have done to us, um, eight, nine games, I believe, in October, uh, which is going to really, really test us. But like I say, we're little old Newport, who, who, who cares about us? Thank you. Yeah, the extent of Seb's injury, does that affect your plans, or is it a case of waiting until and seeing what the scans and the precautions say? Well, planning is is one thing, but things like that, uh, things like that, turn up tonight. So again, look, I'm gonna have to look at him. I'm gonna have to see what he is. If he, if, if it's long term, if it's if it's if it's a bad, one, I'm probably gonna have to get the begging bowl out and, and, and try and see if I can get a replacement in. But uh, yeah, I've got. I'd like to bring two players in, and obviously, as as you quite rightly said, um, Seb's injury tonight may affect the positions in which we uh, we have to address. That be a striker and a centre back, or or what areas of the pitch are you looking to strengthen in the final few days? Well, obviously a striker if if, if Seb is not right, and I've I've asked I've Seb if Seb is not right and it's a long term injury, I'll obviously have to address that. But like I've said all along, I would be in, uh, I would I was looking for a striker in anyway. So uh, let's assess him in the morning. Let's make a call and a judgment on the uh, on the scan results when we see what uh, what comes back. Fingers crossed, it's not a bad one. Fingers crossed, he doesn't need replacing. And fingers crossed we have them available uh, sooner rather than later. There must be plenty of positives though to take out of a game tonight. You might be hurting now uh, in the in the in the heat of the moment, but when you sit down and reflect on this, there'll be plenty of positives to take going forward, must not there? Go on and give me one then. Go on. Defensively, Josh Ebrey. Josh Ebrey uh, for his second, third pro pro appearance to play against a Premier League side, Premier League quality and uh, do really, really well. He must be yeah. pleased with this performance. Yeah, look, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm proud of the lads. I am proud of them. They were brilliant. They were a different class. They're a different class to work with. They're a great bunch of lads, but I want them to be successful. I want them to, whenever the time comes that we depart or, or, or we, we, we break up, myself and the players, whenever that time comes, I want them to look back and say, we were successful. We, we, we achieved. We done something with our careers. Um, I don't like the gallant loser bit. I don't like the pats on the back. I like winning and I like achieving. And uh, that's that's probably the bit that's stuck in my throat at this moment in time. Last one for me. Did you practice penalties at all in the build-up for this? Well, we had a we had a bash yesterday on Monday yeah, in China. We had a we had a goal yeah. We had a goal yesterday. Um, they were all brilliant yesterday. They were all great. But again, you can't replicate the tiredness. You can't replicate the atmosphere. You can't repli replicate the pressure. And um, it was just unfortunate. Those little moments when you come up against the big teams, you need those little moments. The penalties, the, the, the penalty decision, um, you need them moments to go in your favour. Um, and the Harry Charlesley chance, you need those moments to go in your favour. And, and the moments didn't go in our favour tonight. We have to, and we know this, uh, Newport County, we have to walk really, really hard, if not harder than every other team, for them moments to go in our favour. We, we, we're not, by no means are we a lucky team, by no means do we get decisions. We work extra hard and we have to work extra hard and that's just the lay of the land and that, that's that's what we deal with. But we do it and we know that and we, we enjoy it, we love it. I'd like to like Graham.